it's a nightmare scenario. You're in the middle of the ocean and your ship sinks so fast you can't even send a distress. It might not seem real, but it can happen. The MV Derbyshire was an oboe carrier that sank in 1980. She was almost 300 meters long and it's believed she sank within seconds rather than minutes. What about another scenario? You've slightly more time and you can send a distress. You give your last known position, but that was taken six minutes previously. In that time, your ship could easily have traveled a couple of miles. In both scenarios, one piece of equipment could give rescuers vital information, the EPIRB. An EPIRB is an emergency position indicating radio beacon. They're standard equipment on vessels nowadays, and they can even be carried by individuals in kayaks or if you're a hiker or something. Today though, we'll take a look at a standard maritime EPIRB that would be carried on a ship. This is a typical example. You've got the main body of the EPIRB, which is waterproof and able to float. You have a switch for manual activation and sensors on the bottom for automatic activation. And finally, you've got the antenna, which needs a clear view of the sky. EPIRBs should be mounted in float-free containers. These basically are just protective housings with a hydrostatic release that will cut the EPIRB free when submerged. In our earlier scenario, should a ship sink before you can send a distress, in theory, the EPIRB will float to the surface and automatically activate. 